Algae Technologies Biofat is a microalgae to biofuel project largely funded by the European Commission's seventh framework program with more than 10 million euros and aims to demonstrate in a 10 hectare scale that biofuels made from microalgae in a biorefinery logic can offer energy efficiency, economic viability and environmental sustainability. Biofat project integrates the entire value chain of the algae process from optimized growth, biosynthesis of starch and oil accumulation to downstream processing including biofuel production. I represent A4F, a Portuguese SME, and we have the great challenge of coordinating the Biofat project where we have uh, a large consortium of uh, experts from um, all over Europe. Um, Biofat will be um, a very relevant project showing how we can assemble microalgae biotechnologies for many applications including biofuels. The project started in March 2011 and will be finished by April 2016. The value chain of biofuel production from microalgae will be tested on a large scale during the project which is being implemented in two stages. Process optimization in two pilot scale facilities each one half hectare in size in Italy and Portugal, and economic modeling and scale up to a 10 hectare demo facility. The technologies adopted in both pilot plants are representative of the solutions that will characterize the demo facility. The two pilots represent a strategic added value for the following industrial phase. They will enable a full feasibility study of algae biofuels in the EU. Biofat is um a very ambitious uh, project. Uh, the goal is to demonstrate at the 10 hectare scale the feasibility of uh, algal biofuel uh, production and using CO2 from uh, uh, biological uh, sources. Uh, feasibility means uh, technical uh, feasibility, economic and uh, environmental uh, feasibility. Uh, the strategy of uh, Biofat uh, is based on the experience of the, of the partners, the University of Florence, the Ben Gurion University, and companies from um, uh, Portugal. And uh, so the, uh, for this we have uh, already chosen the uh, main organism, two, two strains, that have been uh, selected based on our previous uh, experience. Both of them are marine organisms, and we will see later the reason. One strain will be devoted to oil production and uh, through processing uh, to biodiesel and the second one to uh, carbohydrate accumulation production to produce uh, ethanol. But for the first time uh, there is a gathering of very unique groups all over Europe as Professor Derdici mentioned from Italy, from Israel and from other very good groups in, in Europe and I think the mission that we have are indeed very difficult to achieve, but the skill of the scientific personnel of the project will assure that we can bring this project to a good success, meaning a, a showing the capability of algae as a source of biodiesel. Well, there are uh, several uh, challenges. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, to make uh, the process of uh, producing algae biofuel uh, feasible at the large scale. This is, in my opinion, the, the biggest challenge of the project. Then we have to make uh, the, uh, the, the, the biofuel in an efficient way. Uh, it, mean, it means with a positive energy balance, it must be uh, economic, uh, profitable, and without incentives, in my opinion, and it must be sustainable. The 10 hectare plant will demonstrate how generating biofuels from algae technologies will work and show that the microalgae production platform can operate with positive economic balance through a biorefinery process where added value compounds are produced as EPA, protein and enriched PUFA oil. In the same 7FP call topic of 2010 in which Biofat was supported, two other projects were approved. The three projects are being coordinated in close relation and were dubbed as the algae cluster. The LCA of the three projects is being developed jointly and its approach has been decided and agreed by members of the three projects to ensure that results can be compared. 
LCA results will be used in the planning process to avoid and reduce environmental impacts and a joint assessment and comparison between the three projects. I would like to thank the European Commission for financing the BioFAT project because without this it would be impossible to scale up to such an extent uh, microalgae production technologies.